from Living France and today we're gonna do the calf for flat sharing it together. Approximately 800,000 students receive personal housing assistance from the CAF each year. To apply for it, you just need to be French or have a valid resident permit. To have a decent home, more than 9 square meters per one person, to be unrelated to the owner and to have resources below a certain saving. 12,000 euros per year for one person. Before applying, you can start by doing the simulation to know if you are entitled to it or how much you can receive from the cat. To make your request, you will need to bring some documents. Your lease, an ID or your passport, and finally your bank account number. Also, know that with the CAF, it's mandatory to have a housing insurance. If you don't and the CAF control you, you can get a fine. In a share flat, all roommates must appear on the contract. Otherwise, it will not be valid for the CAF. So, once you are on CAF.fr, you can go on My Service Online, on My Services, and then you have the choice. You can either do a simulation where you can know if you are eligible to the CAF and also you can know how much you will touch uh, from the government. Otherwise, you can go and directly uh, apply for the CAF. So it's what we're going to do. Once you're here, you only need to click on uh, Vous n'êtes pas locataire right here. Once again, they ask you if you want to do a simulation or apply directly. So we are going to apply directly. So once you're here, you only need to click on create an account and start. So once you're here, you need to put some information about yourself. If you are like Madame Monsieur, your, your last name, your first name, your birth date. If you're born in France or uh, abroad. If you are living in France, so yes, and um, your postcode. And finally, the number right here. So I'm gonna do that and come back to you. So once you're here, uh, you will need to put uh, your phone number or your email address to have a validation code. I really, really, really advise you to put a French phone number. If you don't have one, you have the app which is called on off but let you have a French number at least for a time and it's really important because otherwise you won't uh, receive the code okay so here you need to put the code you receive on your phone or uh, per email now you need to invent your your password so it needs to be between 8 and 24 characters one number one um, small letter and one big one and finally pay attention because they won't accept it if you have a special character so this page is just a recap of what uh, the information we just put and you will need to click on the connecting so normally now you had received your temporary number and you can only you can just go on my account right here because you don't have your social security number yet, you just need to click on J'ai un identifiant provisoire, I have a temporary um, number. So now you just need to fill your uh, temporary number. Once you're done, you just need to put your password and click on connect myself. Here you just need to go down and click here. I've taken in account the conditions and we continue. So once you're connected, you can go on uh, online services right here, apply, do the application, start. So here you need to put your postcode. So are you in a couple or not? Uh, just put that you are single uh, if you are not married or are you a student? Yes, number of children, just put zero if you don't have any. Um, do you pay the rent or are you uh, refunding a loan? So this one, this is the date of uh, the starting date. Are you fiscally attached to your parents? Normally your parents are abroad so you just can put um, no. And click here, 
this question is about like is your accommodation owned by your parents or a member of your family know that if uh, it's yes you won't be able to have any financial aid from the government so for us we're just gonna put no and uh, if renting contract at your name your parents name or someone else oh, and let's continue so this is just a small recap of what you just uh, but continue continue so this should be attached to the information you put uh, the first time so your name and everything just right here you can put other as your nationality and uh, here it's your uh, father last name father first name mother last name and mother first name do you live abroad? Yes, and this must be your um, battle of I with all my friends. Here it's your family situation, so uh, single, divorced, uh, and other things, you just put single. Are you uh, waiting for a child to come? No, and continue. Um, here you need to put that uh, your what kind of student you are, so just a student. This is also really important, it's student hospitalier. Uh, it's when you're a student but working in a hospital, so, so we're just gonna put students. Uh, do you have a bursary? No, and continue. So once you're here, it's always fulfilled and you just need to put the name of the street and the number of the street. So now on this page, you just need to put what kind of room you have, so room without or with toilets. You need to put the surface of your room, not of the whole accommodation. If your room only is uh, 14 square meter, you just put 14. Does it have furnitures or not? So we're just gonna put yes. Here, so again, is it a share flat? Yes number of flatmates you have and yourself this is the amount of rent total rent everyone pays so for example you everyone pays 300 so the total is 900 so this is what you pay this is uh, your starting date of your lease and this uh, is your accommodation decent or not yes and let's continue here it is your landlord private or in public so if it's an agency you just put here or if, if it's just single man you put here is your landlord in france or abroad in france this is the um, serial number you can find it on uh, google you just need to put serial and uh, the name of the company so we're gonna do that and continue so this is just a small recap to be sure that it's your landlord company. So yes, and continue. So this question is about uh, if you have a second accommodation because of an internship or um, information, just no and continue. This is a recap of all the information you put since the first step and you need to look if everything is on hard and click on continue. So after clicking twice on continue, I'm at the step where I need to put uh, my IBAN, so my bank account. Um, because if you don't have a French bank account for now, you can just continue uh, later, so continue plus tard. Otherwise you can put it. It's better if you put it right now because it will be faster. So this is the end of the process. You just need to come back later when you will have your French bank account to finish it. So you will need to go on mes services en ligne, faire une demande de prestation like last time, and then click on reprendre une demande de, uh, en cours. So um, continue my application. Thank you for everything. It was Juliette from Live in France. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to contact me on hello at liveinfrance.com. It will be a pleasure to answer you. Thank you very much again. Bye bye.